Welcome to the Doctor of Ministry Scholars here in PMIN 897, the DMIN Project Design. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Asplin, coming to you here at the beginning of our semester. I wanted to welcome you to week one, which also means I'm welcoming you not only to the course as a whole, but to module one. As you know, our class is divided into modules, as you can see in the syllabus, et cetera. And so module one has two weeks uh, in it. And so I wanted to be able to, you know, describe it in general, but also give you a sense of where we're going here at the beginning of our class. Module one has week one and week two, of course. Week one is all about the statement of the problem question. And so you have been divided into groups, into discussion groups. Three of those, dis of those discussion groups are labeled as peer reviews. They're still discussions, but that simply means that there is a peer review document, a description available when it comes to that particular assignment. I love those documents because they contain probably the most complete description of what it is that we're working on at the time as well as kind of a template for you to be able to provide meaningful feedback to other members of your group. The statement of the problem question is the bullseye. It's the basic foundation for everything you are going to be doing in this class. So for us to be able to do a good job of formulating a very specific, precise, concise statement of the problem question, will then enable you to do everything else that needs to be done in a focused way. And so week one is all about that initial discussion. So jump in, download the document, the peer review document, uh, take a look at it, study it. Of course, we'll be working together on unpacking all of that in our first Zoom meeting. And then start working on your, your statement. This is your research question, your research statement. And I will be participating with you always in every discussion that we have. I will jump in and participate. But it's very, very important that you get this right at the beginning. And it will make everything else really a lot easier for you. Uh, week two will have something else in your discussion group. You will be given an annotated bibliography assignment, which I will say more about that when we introduce uh, week two, some good resources and a module one, Turabian, chapters one and two. Remember, the first half of the Turabian uh, a textbook is uh, about uh, academic research and writing. And so it's just the second half that has all of those formatting guidelines. And that's kind of what we know about Turabian. But the beginning of the book has some great stuff for us. And so I've assigned you chapters one and two. Cresswell is probably our primary uh, research methods, a textbook, chapter one in module one. Sensing is good because it's written specifically for doctor of ministry students. And so you uh, can read in module one, the introduction to chapter one in the textbook by Sensing. There's a large number of uh, resources available to you toward the bottom of the modules section of our Canvas site. And so you can go down and begin to access some of those here at the beginning, presentations, documents, even some videos down there. And I know that you will find them very, very helpful as you go forward in this important experience. As you know, 897 is your candidacy phase of your doctoral program. It's what enables you to go on and do a dissertation. And so this is kind of our final opportunity to really uh, learn how to uh, dot the I's and cross the T's when it comes to everything that you will need to know to do a great job with your ministry project and with your uh, dissertation. Let me just give you a quick summary of the statement of the problem question idea, and then we will look very specifically at that in our initial Zoom meeting. The focus of this exercise is to create a research question, uh, one that can guide then obviously your research, but also your project. Uh, the goal is to generate unique knowledge on an applied topic in ministry to solve a problem. So, you know, a PhD a project is all aimed at testing a theory or a hypothesis within a theory. 
A doctorate ministry uh, a program is applied research in a, per se, not pure research. That's usually how it's described. So it's all about a specific research context and your desire to study it in order to help it, in order to benefit it. And so that's really what we're aiming at. And your statement of the problem question really spe it specifies in kind of general terms, obviously, what that is going to be. So the statement becomes the focus of your research, uh, your summary of the literature, uh, which will come up in uh, module two, which is a, a report of all relevant scholarly research in the literature, the BTH, Biblical Theological Historical Foundations, which will be module three, is a report of all relevant research in the Bible, in Christian theology, and in church history. All of those are based on where you're going with it and how you perceive, conceive not only of your project, but what you want to accomplish with your project. So uh, together, these form the background and the basis and the warrant for your ministry project. Well, we can't really get started in a focused way until we're clear about the statement of the problem question. So the statement defines the discipline conduct of your ministry project, a project designed to propose an intervention that is then tested. And, you know, we're, we'll look at that more specifically. I find sometimes doctor of ministry students still want to do a research. They want to do a research paper. They want to establish the basis for a favorite, you know, program or curriculum or what it might, whatever it might be. But you are, you are proposing an intervention in a very specific research context, and then you're testing it. So you're not assuming you know until you know, and you don't know what the result of your research of your testing is going to be until you've been able to analyze your findings at the end and, and report those findings. And so this is closer to a, we would think of it as a scientific process, although you're not in a lab per se, you're in a real world uh, lived experience context. So the week one discussion, you need to go in and find yourself, which is your group in the discussion board. You're going to do a, again, it's a discussion labeled as a peer review, which be, means that there is a, a document attached to it. You will, of course, download that document and provide a statement. L the one you've got so far, I think you will find interacting with one another will be very helpful and clarifying. And of course, I'll jump in and provide some, some feedback as well. And so you want to post your statement, but how you think it is going to relate to them to your chosen research context. And use the peer review rubric. Part of that document gives you a some guidance on how to provide helpful feedback to other members of your group. A very good, very important process in this first week. I think the quicker you jump in, the better. And if you want to wait until after our Monday evening Zoom meeting, that's fine, because that's when we will really look at all of the details. Uh, course resources, again, remember at the bottom of the module section, you have a large number of relevant documents. The Demian Handbook uh, cannot be minimized. It is essentially the Bible for the Doctor of Ministry program, both for faculty and for students. And so looking at it, and you know what, that's updated from time to time. Uh, so looking at that, downloading the most recent copy will be helpful. There are dissertation guidelines. The student profile template, that is an assignment coming up toward the end of the semester that is very, very important. That template is there. But you will also find resource groups at the bottom of the module section that will literally provide you with every resource you will need not only to do well in this class, but ultimately to do well with your project and your dissertation. So go, go down and look at those. I'll be referring to some of them as we go along. Uh, just a ton of stuff that will enable you to be fully uh, prepared for everything you need to know uh, going forward. In terms of our first Zoom meeting, it's going to be of course, Monday, August the 21st, the very first day of the fall semester, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I will send you a reminder 
uh, if you have not already experienced this in the summer, because during the summer, the School of Divinity beta tested the Canvas environment. We were the only school, I guess, that really wanted to do that. And it was, you know, we were we were kind of guinea pigs in a little way, but, but I think it was helpful. Uh, you There is a link, there is a Canvas Zoom link, but it doesn't work unless you activate your Regent Canvas account. So I'm going to send you a follow-up email when we get closer, reminding you of the of the link to your Regent Canvas account. All you have to do is log in there with your normal Regent login credentials. And just doing that activates that account. And then your Canvas Zoom link will work. Uh, until you've done that, it won't work. So that's one of the things we learned in the summertime. Uh, when we're all together, then we'll take some time to get acquainted in a more face-to-face -face kind of way. And I will overview what I usually just call the 897 experience because it doesn't function like a normal class. You know, it's not graded. Uh, every activity is incomplete until it's complete. And ultimately, uh, what I want to have, my goal is to have a really great proposal by the end of the semester that I can send on to Dr. Flynn. And then he will use that to, uh, to appoint your, your chair. And so with our Zoom consultation, we'll unpack the details of the week one assignment, the statement of the problem question assignment, and maybe get some ideas as to what you're thinking so far when it comes to that. We can interact together a bit, have a Q&A session, and you know, more, no more than an hour. Uh, but we want to be able to take full advantage of it for your benefit. Uh, in terms of uh, the my overall purpose for 897, it is simply to prepare you for the dissertation phase of your program. And of course, that's PMN 899. Uh, if you have, if you succeed, and I don't know why you won't, in 897, I will have a final proposal to pass on to Dr. Flynn, and he will, in he will, you know, enroll you in 899. It'll be done together in cooperation with the. A dean's office, and he will appoint a chair for you, and off you go. And so really what we're focused on, although there are very important aspects to that as we go along in the semester, is the proposal process, but also the HSR process, which you can literally begin toward the end of our fall semester if you want to. But it's also an opportunity to review specific skill sets, specifically Turabian Ninth Edition, which you need to make sure you really have your, you know, your head wrapped around before you start composing uh, dissertation chapters. Uh, Microsoft Word can be your worst enemy unless you learn how to make it work with a dissertation in mind. I've provided you with a lot of uh, resources that will enable you to do that in terms of the default settings, formatting settings, et cetera. And of course, Grammarly. Because ultimately, in your defense, your committee is going to take your document, turn on Grammarly, and take a look at what it says. And so making sure you understand how Grammarly works, making sure you have your free copy loaded and ready to go is very, very important. So 897 is your final opportunity to get all of that in line so that you're ready to begin to compose the chapters of your dissertation, as well as conduct your, your research project. Uh, having a great research question is the key to every kind of research project. It doesn't matter what the uh, program is. And so that's obviously true for us. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to work together on making sure you're clear, uh, but also precise when it comes to the way you're wording and thinking about here at the beginning your research and your project. And that's what we will uh, devote ourselves to in a week one. So it's going to be a great week, a very, very important week. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Monday night. So I will send another uh, email message, as I say, that will review how to access the Zoom, uh, the Canvas Zoom link when it comes to our first meeting. So be sure to let me know if you have uh, any questions along the way? God bless you, everybody. Just have a great week one.